Hello and welcome. I am Charles Sebastian. And I want to do a special video for you today. And I'm very excited for my life. Very, very excited for the thing that they are going on right now. Not only, not only with my life, but uh, several other people's life out there. They are getting themselves uh, to learn and go in a different direction with this uh, economic time. Okay? I really want to share something with you today. Something very important. Something that happened with me last night. Okay? Actually, this morning, there was about um, uh, midnight. And um, I was uh, coaching this person. Okay? She, she's actually at the university. And uh, she's about to uh, present a... Um, a job over there, okay, something that she was doing to complete her year of a university, okay? But uh, there's one thing that I really want to share with you guys right now here. She's saying that she's not confident about doing the thing that she's supposed to be doing. And I was stuck with her for uh, three hours, okay, on MSN. This is some of the uh, coaching uh, programs that I have, okay? I usually don't do it like, like this late, but that's what happened to my schedule, okay? Three o'clock in the morning, I was over there helping that person. Helping her have more confidence. Helping the lady uh, believe in herself. Helping the, the lady uh, know exactly that uh, this is what I, what I say to people, okay? When you do something, you gotta make sure that you have the passion of doing the things you're supposed to be doing. For example, right now, in this wall over here, on the beach, some people like the surfers, they already have passion about surfing. They have the passion that they know when they drop the wave, okay, when they go down, they know they have to line up, they know they have to, have to do everything. So they, so they are 110% passionate about what they're doing. And I'm passionate about myself. I'm passionate about my life. I'm passionate about the people that hang out with me. And I'm very passionate about the people that I hang out with, okay? Now, but understand that this is one of the things that school should really focus on and probably help the people a little bit more, okay? People have to overcome fear, okay? People have to overcome fear. People have to know more about uh, um, spirituality. Spirituality, it is completely different from religion, okay? Understand that. It's completely different. It is separate. Some people that they are from a, um, religion have used spirituality, that has worked a lot. People have to understand exactly uh, how to balance emotions, how to uh, control your mind, the words, the image that you have. For example, we have to understand how to uh, uh, control the images and the words that uh, we are living in our life every single day, especially now with this uh, um, economic, economic time. Okay? If you really want to stand that, our life will be a little bit different. But I really want to share with you guys that uh, I was talking with this person. This is one thing that she said to me, Charles, I have friends, okay? I have friends that they are doctors, that they are lawyers, that they have, you know, they have PhDs and stuff. But my friends, they cannot get any close for the knowledge that you have, for the things that you have learned. In fact, Charles, I don't believe for, for the things that you are doing right now, for the things that you are uh, passionate to do, I don't think they came from the, from the books that you read. I believe that something way, way special from the books. Well, she really got myself emotional at that time because many times uh, we, 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 people think that uh, by talking with somebody it's very easy to teach people how to do things, but somehow they always depend on what the person saying to us. We get a self emotion. Not all the time, but yes, this one I got it. Okay? There was three hours that I was talking with this person on MSN, with my coaching program that I do. Okay? And uh, this was very, very, very exciting because I have experience of um, helping the people of having confidence, have more confidence about themselves, overcome fear. And I said everything about this person, okay? You know what? You're here for two days in this world to love and to be loved. And guess what? I love you right now. I give you peace. And I said to her, my... my uh, my great thing about life is to love people. You know what I wish to give you to you right now, this moment? I, this is what I said to her. I wish to give you a big hug, a hug of peace. 
a hug of hope, of confidence, of anything. But you know what? I'm not there with you. But guess what? Receive my heart of peace. The person is starting to cry. She got herself emotion. You know what, people? I think that uh, we should really uh, think about the things that they are going on in our life right now at this moment because you have to start to love yourself first. You have to start to love other people, love your friends. Okay? You love the people, okay? Everybody's beautiful. Everybody's is, it's beautiful. Inside, inside out. It doesn't matter, okay? But society have, look at people, just a beauty from outside. But they forget the beauty that they have inside. I don't care how the person looks like, I call the person beautiful. Okay? You are handsome. Okay? You're beautiful. That's what we should give to people. Some people have lived all life, 20, 30 years, they never heard somebody say, I love you. You're beautiful. I like you a lot. You're a very, a very special person. We need to be loved. We have to love people. And we, we see, the more you love people, the more you give love and peace you will receive for your life. Before that person receives. That's the great thing about life. Okay? And for you right now, this moment, probably if you're a lawyer or if you're a doctor or something, um, get yourself to learn a little bit about about emotions, okay? About controlling emotions and really uh, make sure to uh, um, control your thoughts and words. Know exactly the kind of words that you're supposed to say exactly on that moment with the, uh, with the patient that you have right now, okay? It's very, very uh, 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 dangerous. Any words that you're saying to people, if you don't know exactly how to say. If you talk with emotion, okay, you can be, you can say something negative to the person that they're going with, with the, uh, with the health right now, okay. But if you say with emotion, by, by feeling the person, okay, by feeling the person, and make sure you make the person want to say what it is and make them feel comfortable. I believe that a lot of uh, uh, patients that are in the hospital right now, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, health that they are, I think they at least are going to start to, to feel better because many of the people, they are being using the mind of to do anything in your life, to control your thoughts, you know the word that you're supposed to be saying, and feel good about yourself. That's what we should do right now at this moment, okay? We should constantly um, try to read books, every single time. I learned before with the, uh, this guy, Mark Witten Hansen, and uh, he wrote the, chicken, uh, the book uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, and uh, several other books, and uh, with the Robert Giallo, okay? Those men, it's amazing, okay? They, 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 they do a lot of things, a lot of things together. And they say that uh, we should consider ourselves to read one book per month. Sometimes it's kind of tough for me, but I do. I do. It's hard, but I do. Now, don't just get yourself to read, but make sure that you take notes. This is one of the, one of the things that I do when I read books. When everywhere do I go, I have my uh, little bit of thing that I do, and it helps me a lot. And what I have over here, even the fortune of the Bill Gates, if he come with the fortune, uh, if Bill Gates come with his own fortune, say to me, Charles, I'm going to give all my fortune, and I'm going to give you Microsoft. To you, Charles. But I want to have all of the, the words, the things that you have uh, put in, in your book. Things that you have over here, you know what? I will pass it on to the his fortune and the Microsoft because what I have here is something that I have learned, something that have value to me. Okay, I'm not I'm not putting um, Bill Gates down or something like that. I truly love him. Okay, I really love um, what he's doing. He helped the people. He a lot of great things out there, even the things that people they don't know about. It, okay, but I'm just give yourself a better example that um, your knowledge, nobody can take your knowledge. Okay? Let somebody take your car, take your house, take whatever they have from you, but do not, t do, do not let them take your knowledge. They cannot take your knowledge. It's part of you. It's on your soul. It's, it's part of your life. And you have to live that. That's the most important thing about it. So, 
Once Santa will become fear in life, once him a little bit more, how to get yourself a uh, uh, connect is spiritual. What is the uh, communication that you have with God from one from one to ten? Okay, and ten is the high and five is the low. You understand what it is? Okay. Everybody know that somebody have created this world. Everybody know our Creator, God. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of religion you are right now. I totally respect anybody from every religion, and I truly love all of my friends that they are from a different religion. But what I understand is that um, you are not afraid to succeed. You have to overcome fear. I see you guys at the top because the world is too proud. Hey, before I go, make sure you put in comments about my video. Bye now.